baby. Yeah, I'm alright. How you feeling? Come inside. Yeah, come in. Close the door behind you. Yeah, I know. I'm home a little early from work today. Yeah. You miss me, baby? Yeah. I miss you too. I miss you so much I followed you today. Uh-huh. Yo, son. Yo, son. Don't raise up, son. Chill. Sit down, son. I'm talking to you. But I'm saying, no. Don't deny it. I saw you. I saw you with your alcoholic secretary, the one with the bad feet, walking, holding her hand, playing yourself as usual. And you know you are known for playing yourself. Instead of holding her hand, you should have been putting some lotion on them crusty feet she got. But anyway, I ain't gonna stress that. It's all good. You know your man, Big Mike? Yeah, the first round draft pick, Big Mike.
It's not strange that all of us sometimes be anxious or tense or be worried. In one sense, we were built for this. But most of us, we long for this other kind of life, the meaning and the connection and the happiness. And I'm not sure that we can have one thing without the other, but there are definitely things and ways how we can cultivate happiness and build one. But this comes with good news and bad. The good news is that happiness is not something you find outside of yourself and it's not something you have or don't have. It's a skill that we all can work on. But the problem is that we just don't do it.
I walked with a feeling of oneness with the elements. I spoke but without words for I begged for mercy with my tears. I remember that day of such deep sorrow. But remember it, I would say, with a certain fondness and gratitude. I remember that day 